Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifu and you are watching 7 engineer at YouTube channel. So guys today I am going to share with you my yesterday interview with the Raisi trading and contracting company for KVKOC engineer position. The interview was so interesting so because of that I think I, sh I should share it with you for the better experience. So let's start the video. Before starting the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and comment your suggestion and feedback in the comment section. As I told you that these are two parts of interview, initial interview and technical interview. Initial interview was taken by project engineer, this engineer Naveed, in, sorry engineer Usman. He asked question about my background from where I did graduation, how many years of experience I had in Saudi Arabia and how many years of experience I had in the Pakistan. These were the questions. After that when I answered his question, every because this is something about personal, so everyone should have answer from as per their uh, background and as per their experience. After that, there is a technical interview with the project director. He asked a lot of questions and it was around about 20 to 15 minutes interview, but I will try to make it brief and share it with you here. The first question about he asked me about that, why you want to leave the company? So for this, uh, if you have any personal issue in the company or any, any problems with you, you have to tell it but as a positive point not a negative point of the company i say i want to work in a better environment and and to grow my skill and the second thing that our company has many projects but in the uh, pro remote areas and i want to work in riyadh city he tell me a company salary i say company salary everything is okay environment everything is best but just the reason is why I want to stay in Riyadh city for that I want to uh, join a company who can who has a projects in the Riyadh city. The second question he asked that why you work in the start as a site engineer now you are working as a KVQC engineer why you switch uh, from execution to quality department. I told him that I believe that in my interest also that to work as an engineer and believe that to follow standard quality specifications at site during execution in site engineering execution sometimes it's not possible because they just focus on the progress to get progress whatever they have to do at site so because of that i choose to quality department also there are a lot of more knowledge as compared to execution department in the quality department you have documentation like method statement inspection test plan wr mir logs reports many more things as compared to execution site like as a site engineer and if you stay at site engineer more than four or five years only at site source you are become like a site supervisor and you didn't learn the things which is an engineering documentation like that third question is as he said you mentioned in your cv scope of artwork what you did in artwork I say in artwork it's easy if you need any things in the artwork like you have to do the excavation sometime for mechanical utilities sometime for footings like that you have to remove the unwanted side or the side which is not as per project specification you have to do the excavation when you complete the work as a structure a concrete or a RC putting or any other uh, MEP utilities and you complete the work. After that you back build that area with the fruit soil and you have to do the quality testing, compaction testing for that soil. It's about the artwork. Maybe there are also more, many more things about the artwork but I just make it simplify. Then he asked about, she asked me, Seb you write and this is that close out of NCR. Did you receive NCR or what is NCR? Say non-conformance report. He say what steps you have to do when you receive NCR. So I told him and latest time we receive NCR about us part work. So I told him that we receive NCR about part work. I make corrective action for that NCR. And also I make a preventive action for that NCR for our site execution team. So you have to make corrective action in, uh, report for the NCR to close the NCR. And after the acceptance of the corrective action from the consultant, we can close the NCR. And you have to also make the preventive action for the NCRs. To prevent such a things I got to repeat at site. The second question he asked about the slump testing. That what is the slump test? 
why you perform slum test and what are the values i say slum test to check the workability of concrete and slum value is from 25 to 175 for general concrete and also here we did the wet concrete are uh, the concrete which per we use we cost it by um, piping system and the parking areas because it's not possible to bring the pump inside so for that the slump will use from 140 to 260 then he asked about the temperature testing he said say how you will control control the concrete uh, temperature in the summer i said there are prevent direction the first thing you have to cast the concrete at night time or early in the morning and the second third thing we are using uh, ice cubes or ice to control the concrete temperature but you shouldn't add too much ice that it changes the workability of the concrete then he say what you did in material when you are receiving the material how you will check it's as per uh, or projects like it's per quality or not so they to check the material it there should be pre-inspection to check its delivery node and it's as per delivery node and as per approved material submitted he say how you will check this during procurement team i say when our team is making mr they are sending emails to the procurement department so they keep the quality team in cc so at that time you can check the mr did they mention the approved vendor approved supplier or not if they are not mentioned so at that time you have to warn them or you have to send an email that the material should be from this supplier or this vendor like that you have can also check the quality of the material and during the procurement time and after that when you receive it site just check delivery note material submitted and material side and uh, last question which he asked for me he said that if the compressive strength of the complete didn't uh, comp uh, as per uh, the required strength after 28 days what you will do i said there is a non-destructive testing ndt we have to do the non-destructive testing in the side like but hammer test if it acceptable to the consultant so we have to check that and it's really if not acceptable so we have to take the core cutting test take some cylinders or some cores and take it to the laboratory and check there so after that he told me i want to take you and my team but we have to send you a cv for the approval of the client after the getting approval from the client we will call you back soon so that was the interview which i want to share it with you if you have any questions related to this interview, you can ask in the comment section and I will try to answer the questions there. Thank you so much for watching.